Hello everyone and welcome to Sew Lovely with Grace. I'm Grace and I'm so crazy about sewing. I know that's corny, but I have sitting here drinking my coffee here in full sunny Florida. It was 45 degrees when we woke up, but now it's a sunny 70 and I'm just enjoying the day. And today is Friday Sews. As you know, or you may not know, Friday Sews is a hashtag that Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room created and it brings the sewing community together and I'm just thrilled that I can be part of it now. I've been watching it for a long time and I found a lot of YouTubers that I might not have found just looking up the word sewing so now I put in hashtag Friday Sews. I do it every week, sort by date and then you get the latest and the greatest from the best sewist in YouTube. So anyways, my Friday Sews today is a recap, as most of them are, of the first week in January. Uh, what happened? So, let's see, Monday I took down my tree, cleaned up, I took away the decorations. Um, I had a chance to do it, so I did it then. I normally keep it up until today, which is January 6th, which is the Feast of the Three Kings. At least in my culture in Italy, they celebrate it. Um, but I just wanted to get it done Monday so it's gone. Everything in the house is clean and tidy and back to normal. As much as I love Christmas decorations, I like my house in order. Tuesday, I was still doing some cleaning. I'm doing household chores, trying to get everything ready for the new year, tidying up and organizing my sewing room. And what happens? FedEx shows up. I was like, wow, I got my uh, Fashion Fabrics Club fabrics. I did get the Vogue fabrics and the Joanne fabrics a few days before, but I was waiting for the Fashion Fabrics Club fabrics, and I said, I got to do a video immediately. So then I got all the fabrics, laid them all out on my uh, cutting table, and I got the list, and I did the video. So maybe you can take a peek and you can see what I got. And what happened was I ended up matching patterns to fabrics. Now, of course, I might change my mind when I go to use them, but I think I'm pretty set on those patterns with the fabrics. So I hope you check out that video. And then Wednesday, of course, Tuesday I had piles and piles of fabric mess on my table. I do not like messes. So Wednesday, I spent most of the time organizing my room again. But before that, in the morning, I had my first quilt group meeting for 2023. It's a monthly meeting. I joined this quilt group because I want to make a quilt this year. I made a quilt wall hanging that I showed in a previous video, but I want to make a real big quilt this year uh, for 2023. That's one of my goals. On this channel, it's mostly 90% garment making. I like to do totes and bags and hand clutches, and then I want to do a quilt. So there's going to be a little variety on this channel, mostly garment making, but I like to incorporate also machine embroidery on this channel. So anyways, Wednesday I had piles of fabric when I got home from my quilt group meeting and I had to organize it. Um, so what I did was, you can see the pile, this took, believe it or not, hours. So I had um, my YouTube video uh, TV on and I'm watching everybody's YouTubes, everybody's videos, sewing of course, and while I'm doing this. And what I use is, I use this foam board. Let me show you. I have this foam board. I have three methods. So the first method I use is this foam board. This to me is the best method. I get this foam board at Dollar Tree. It's like 20 by 30 sheets for $1.25 and it just depends on the size you cut out. I get like six out of them, but it depends on your shelving and how big you want them. It's going to vary, but I get an X-Acto knife and I mark them up and I just cut them all in one day and get it done. I always have a stack in my closet, so when I get new fabric, I use it. Or if I use fabric, then I just store it in a stack and then I use it. But this foam board is really good. It's not expensive and, you know, it does the trick. Or 
before that, before I discovered the foam board, I used to go to the post office and you get a priority box and you can cut on the seams of the priority box and you get 24 of these in one box. So you can store 24 fabrics in one, out of one box, which was good. But I find that they get a little warped and flimsy over time. I like the foam board better. And then the third option I had are these, um, you can purchase these online. They're a little pricey, um, but I don't know. I got them at an auction this year. I went to a sewing auction in November and I got them for a steal. So I acquired a bunch of those. And then I just wrap them. I, I you know, salvage to salvage, and then I just wrap them, and then I put them on my shelf. So I just wanted to show you that. All these, I don't know, can you see all that? that I did, so I need to put them in my uh, shelving in my closet this weekend. So that's what I did, was that Wednesday. And then Thursday, I didn't feel so good yesterday. I had a little headache and I kind of chilled. I was just reading, relaxing. I didn't do anything in my sewing room. And uh, here we are today, Friday. So I hope you found that helpful. And now I want to show you a make. I made Butterick 6764. This one, the top here, that is view B. I'm wearing it, and this fabric I got is from Joann's. They still sell it. It's called a watercolor purple floral chiffon, but it's clearly a rose color. So I don't know why it's called purple, but they still sell it here. And I want to show you this pattern and talk about it. So this is the top. I really like this fabric. It's like a chiffon. It's very light and airy and silky. And the pattern has this nice little simple v-neck with the elastic waist right here and the flutter sleeves. Very nice. I love this pattern. I made it twice, so I'm going to show you another one. I don't know if this is a good way to display it. Can you see it in the mirror? kind of tricky how I can uh, show you the whole look, but I'm wearing it with these jeans, pants, and I just think it's a fun top. So I made another one. This one's out of the chiffon. The second one I made is a rayon chalet that I got at Joann's. Like I said, this fabric is still available, but the one, the black and white rayon that I got was on clearance, so it's not available. Again, I did the same exact pattern, same view, with this rayon chalet. Very pretty. It has the bell sleeves, the elastic waist, and it really worked out well. I really like this pattern. I would make it again. In fact, from my Fashion Fabrics Club uh, haul, there was a, a fabric there that I featured that I might do again with this pattern. It's very, very nice. I enjoy it. You can wear it, dress it up, dress it down, and you know, you have a nice little top. And it's easy to come together. There's a YouTuber, her name, well, I don't know her name, but her web is Seems Legit, S-E-A-M-S-L-E-G-I-T. And she has a tutorial for this exact pattern that I watched. And she does a great job. So if you're interested in making this, um, I would check her video out. So that was Butterick 6764 View B. I made the large, which is a size 16, 18, so it worked out very well. But my next one, and I'm gonna make this pattern again, is this View C, look at that. It has elastic on the elbows, and it has this V, like a handkerchief look. I think that's sharp, and I wanna make that too. There's so many I wanna make, 2023. The real fun begins now, cutting and sewing. It's just the dilemma is which one to make first. There's so many options, but I'm just going to let my inspiration guide me. I'm not going to be rigid. I don't want to have any pressure or schedules. You have pressures and schedules at work, at home, obligations. My sewing is my hobby, and if it, you know, it gets stressful, it's not going to be fun anymore. I don't want to do it. So. In 2023, I'm going to make a lot of things, but I'm just going to 
go with the flow and see where my inspiration brings me. And I hope you do the same and enjoy it because sewing is creativity, freedom, and enjoyment. It's my happy place and I hope it's yours too. Well, thank you for joining me today on Friday Sews. I hope it was entertaining and useful and I hope to see you again soon. Have a great Friday.